Hi and welcome back to the Crazy Women's YouTube channel. I'm Max and I have visited and crochets with people who have led to the world design of this. You can find me with those right down below this video. In this video, I'm doing another crochet, uh, not crochet, another collection of garments that I want to make. This time it is knitted cardigans. So what my last video like this was five crochet cardigans I really want to make. And a little disclaimer, I haven't made all of those. I've made one of them and started another that didn't work out right because of a mistake I made. So I ripped it out. I still want to make all those crochet cardigans, but I've noticed in my um, handmade wardrobe I have almost none knitted cardigans. I have one and it's not my favorite, just the fit. So a goal for myself this year in 2022 is to make at least these six knitted garments and I'm really excited about it and I want to talk about, I want to share the patterns I want to make with you and the yarns I'm going to use and which one I'm going to be starting first. So I have quite a, I have six, six patterns I picked out. They're all free patterns, um, whether you can follow them on blogs or they're free rapidly downloads, I'll have all those, all the information of that listed below and they're really pretty and um, I have one bulky, one worsted, or two, two worsted. One bulky, two worsted, two DK. Yes. And one fingering. I've never made a fingering weight garment. That's not true. I've never made a fingering weight gauge garment. I mean, I made one. It was like a t-shirt and it was something I made up, but I kind of, I don't know. This will be my first fingering weight um, cardigan, at least. And I've just never really made big projects with fingering weight. So it'll be really exciting. So I want to share the patterns and the yarns I'm going to use with you today. So I have um, a little um, sheet of the designer names and all the information so I don't get anything wrong. So if I'm looking down, that is what I'm looking at. And the first one, I guess we'll start with the bulky cardigan. Um, and actually I'm a little torn about, I went back and forth on what pattern I wanted to use because I found a couple. The biggest thing I wanted for using bulky, a bulky cardigan is I wanted a big, um, garter stitch yoke. I just like how that looks and I found quite a few on Ravelry and online and on websites that I really liked. But I think I'm settling on this one. So I found it on a website called Becky's Knitting Patterns and it is called the Transitions Yoke Cardigan. And I really like this one because it has just the garter stitch detailing and it's kind of got various garter ridges throughout it and I really love garter ridges. I am a little concerned about how the pattern is formatted, just the way the website looks. Um, kind of makes me a little worried that like, it might be hard to follow, but I'm going to give it a try because it looks like a relatively simple cardigan, just the garter, like I said, just the garter detailing and stockinette, and I'm really excited about it. So actually, I think she only used, no, she used Aaron Raid, okay. I thought I got that wrong, that she used actually a worsted, but she used an Aran weight, so I should be able to get away with this bulky yarn. The yarn I'm going to be using is I Love This Yarn Chunky in the Honey colorway. Now I bought, I believe, six skeins of this. It is 100% acrylic yarn and it's um, 109 yards per 100 grams. So I'm planning on, this is the only sweater in this collection that's actually this um, roundup of patterns um, cardigans that's actually not going to be for me. I bought this color with someone specific in mind and she's smaller than me so even if the yardage, I haven't worked a lot with chunkier yarns, I've usually just stayed in the worsted range, um, but even if the yardage is a little short it'll be okay because it won't be as big a cardigan as I would make for myself. So I've never worked with this yarn, I've worked with I love this yarn but not this particular line and it looks really nice. And I'm excited to cast this on. This actually might be, I imagine this project will fly because of the big gauge and yarn. So this like, might actually be the first one I cast on as soon as I finish a different sweater that I'm working on. So that is cardigan number one. Cardigan number two is the Effortless Polo, Effortless Cardigan by Zabeth. And it is a worsted weight cardigan. It's very simple. And this is actually, if I don't cast on the bulky cardigan, this is the one I'll be casting on. I really like the idea of having just a sea of stockinette to work on, even, you know, with knits and pearls back and forth. I think it'll just be really easy to pick up and work on and it'll get done when it gets done. Just one of those really easy projects to pick up and put down. 
And the yarn I'm going to be using for this, if you follow my podcast, then this was the yarn I was planning to make, one of those crochet cardigans um, that I was planning on making. I started it, frogged it, started it again, it didn't work out. So I'm recycling yarn for this knit cardigan. And it is Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek Local Fiber in the Purple Multicolorway. And this is a skein that is not, I haven't broken into. I have the frogged crochet cardigan in here. I still have to frog quite a bit of it. Um, and then these skeins that I wound up from the cardigan. And that whole drama I talked about in my podcast. But I really think this plain knit cardigan is really going to show off the yarn really well. And it'll be, like I said, just a really easy project to pick up and put down. And just, I really want just to work back and forth in rows of stockinette. Sometimes I don't like that. I hate, you know, purling back all those long rows, knitting those long rows. But I'm just in the mood for that, so I'm really excited about this project. And I also think, unless I'm mistaken, if I can zoom in on the picture, it's got a really nice shawl collar that you pick up. And it's got, it's got pockets, which I'm also really excited about. And just very simple, like it's, it says in the pattern name, effortless. Just very, really such an effortless piece to work on, an effortless piece to just throw on on any outfit. And this color will be super pretty, so I'm really excited about this cardigan as well. I'm gonna say I'm excited about all these cardigans, because I am, and I'm, I really just want to make them all. And I'm trying not to cast them all on, because <laughs> that will lead to disaster for me. The next cardigan is the Draw Cardigan by Amy Christoffers, and this one is similar to the Effortless in the sense that it has um, that same sea of stockinette, I believe. I'm trying to zoom in on my pictures on my computer because I want to get this right. So it looks very simple, like the Effortless, like the body of it, but the big collar is what I'm really interested in. It looks like a um, alternating rib stitch that looks like it'll be really fun to work. I'm kind of very into big shawl collars because I've always kind of fudged those with my cardigans. I think that's why I don't have a lot of cardigans in my handmade wardrobe is because I always mess up on the collars. I always do them too short or I I don't have enough fabric on the fronts that make the collars. It's it's a whole thing, and so that's something I want to conquer this year and get better at. And this collar just looks really pretty. And I also think she did some... I can't zoom in on my pictures, so I'm going to find a better picture of it. So yeah, the body is all stuck in it, um, and it's a raglan style. So it'll be... I, I love that. I love working top-down raglans. And yeah, the collar just looks so pretty. It has these different, um, not not straight alternating rib, but just lots of knits and pearls. It looks so much fun to knit. And the cuffs are actually garter stitch, so it, it just looks really nice, and I'm really excited about it. Again. <laughs> so I will be working the Draw Cardigan out of I Love This Yarn or Stick Weight in the light gray colorway. And these are um, 355 yards per 199 grams. And I think I have um, at least three, which should be more than enough, I believe. <laughs> I always forget how much I have of this yarn because I always get different shades of gray. So, but I should have enough for this. And it'll be, but really, all these cardigans are really just going to be so. They're gonna be so much fun to make and they're gonna be such staples in my wardrobe. Like I can see myself wearing this all the time, especially in such a neutral color. And the knit pearl texture will really keep my interest in it. So even though it's can be like a working with neutrals like gray can be a little bit boring, but the knit pearl textures of the collar will really keep my interest, I think. So that'll be that project. The next two cardigans are both made out of DK weight. And I'm going to be talking about both of them because I'm not sure which color I'm going to use for each one. So first is the Robber Rail Cardigan. And uh, for some reason, I don't have the designer's name listed on my page, so that will be on the screen. The Robber Rail Cardigan looks really fun because it's, again, that texture. Just these alternating panels of nipple textures that look so much fun to do and 
look like once you get the repeat will probably be very mindless and it, I could just see it so clearly and like it's just something I really want to make. I am concerned about the shape. Um, I think it's another top down rack loop. And just that kind of almost boxy shape of cardigan. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna like wearing that but the cardigan itself is so pretty that I don't care, like I want to make it, and if I don't like it then I can easily give it to someone um, who does like it. So it's not a big deal, but it just looks like so much fun to make those different stripes of patterning. I really want to do that. And then the other DK cardigan I have on here is the textured top down DK cardigan. And this one looks really interesting because it's got, um, I think, either moss stitch or seed stitch. I, um, to me, moss stitch is one with two rows of knit pearl before you alternate, and seed stitch is one with one. I think it's moss stitch. Um, like, the yoga's moss stitch and the rest is stockinette, which looks like so much fun to do. And it's the same idea as the Robertville cardigan, just that texture. I really want to make that texture, especially in DK weight yarn, because it's so much fun to work on. And then the yarns I'm going to be using for this, they're both the same brand, but they're just different colors. They're Yarn Bee Must Be Merino. And it is a blend of 50% merino wool, 25% acrylic, 25% nylon, 277 yards, 227 yards per 100 grams. And this is the teal colorway. And this is the blush colorway. So I'm kind of looking at it now, I'm kind of leaning toward, um, I don't know. I really don't know because I could see this is both very clearly. I could also see this as I'm leaning toward this being the texture top down cardigan, but I really love this colorway. <laughs> and if I don't like the fit of the Robertville cardigan, I will be very <laughs> upset that that it's in this colorway because I love this colorway. So I don't know. I'm a little torn. I mean. That's, that's kind of silly, not wanting to make it because you don't think it's going to be for you. I mean, I can easily get more of this yarn. But it is also the idea that this teal um, is a little bit on the darker side. So maybe the stitch patterns in the Robertville cardigan won't show up as well. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, it's not so dark. So I, I could see the Robertville cardigan in this. I don't know. I have to think on that. But I have... I think it's either five or six gains of each of these, so I'll, it doesn't matter. Yardage is not a problem, it's just color. Let me know what you think in the comments, because I don't know. I love both of these colors, but I just, I, I think I would be more reluctant to let the pink go than the blue, the teal. But I love both of these. I should make a stripe cardigan in both of these one day. Plan more cardigans as I'm talking about all the cardigans I plan to make. That's a good idea. The last cardigan is the fingering weight cardigan, and I'm really excited about this one. Every time I look at it, I'm I'm a little little nervous about it because it's striped. So it is the Polly cardigan by Isabel Kramer. It's fingering weight, and it's got these stripes of contrast color, and it's really pretty. Now it also has a Garter Yoke, which, like I said, I was really interested in. I just really want to make a Garter Yoke, I don't know why. And the collar is really nice. Everything's really great. So, I am going to be using for this project Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek DK Low Pill Fiber in the... Oh, it's linen. Okay, there it is. Linen. And it's just a 100% low pill acrylic, 114 grams per 478 yards. And it says DK, but it's actually everyone who works with it agrees it's fingering. I don't know why it says DK. I'm going to be using this as my main color. And then for all those stripes, I bought two sets of these Yarmby Sweet Minis in the Roses and Clouds. And I'm going to be striping these. I bought two sets of these and they, they each come with three. I'm probably going to leave out the gray and just use these pinks. And it's going to be great. <laughs> It's gonna be so much great. So, so much great. Yeah, that makes sense. So each, this, these three sets are 120 grams. So I guess there's about 40 grams in each um, little mini skein. 
and they're all just 100% acrylic and I was worried when I bought it that it might be a little bit thicker than the yarn but I think it's fine not too much I don't think there's gonna be a noticeable difference especially since these stripes in the poly they look like they're only two maybe three rows um, so there's probably gonna be a lot of ends especially since I'm using different colors but I'm trying not to let that bother me because I really love the idea of making stripes it's always the ends that hold me up which is silly because weaving ends isn't that big of a deal and if I really wanted to I could just knit them into the cardigan though I don't really trust that for myself <laughs> I'm always afraid that my ends are gonna come out even though they never have but yeah I'm so I really want to make this cardigan it, it'll probably be a little bit more slow going than others because I've never made a fingering weight cardigan, I've never really made a proper fingering weight sweater and it'll just be really exciting to do that and like I said, these colors, like just the grey I mean I don't have to leave this grey out if I really don't want to, it kind of contrasts enough but I think the pinks will be just prettier So those are all the cardigans I am planning on making and going to be casting on at least one of them very soon and I'm just really excited about all of them. All of the patterns I talked about, though, you can find them in the description box if you want to look at them, make them. Be sure if you visit the pattern pages of any of these, if you go on Ravelry, to like them. So that helps the designer who's generously, you know, put these patterns out for free. That is everything for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you next time with hopefully at least one cast on sweater, if not all of them. You're watching, happy crafting!